A quick spoiler warning, so much of the Stanley Parable's magic is in discovering its secrets for yourself, so I'll be avoiding specifics and big surprises as much as possible. That said, I am going to be showing off the base game, as well as some of the new content to help tell you what makes it so superb. If you already think you may want to play this game, you should 100% go do that. And if you're not there yet, stick around and let me convince you. Ah, 2013, the year the Stanley Parable was released. Plenty has already been said about why it's so phenomenal. So much, in fact, that one section of the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe is a shrine to the praise and accolades that have been deservedly heaped upon it. To prattle on further about how it cleverly messes with your expectations or how it dissects the choices games often give us would only belabor long since made points, not to mention risk my own words showing up in the inevitable re-re-release in 2031. But then again, there I go doing exactly that, because despite those points having been already well made, both about and by the Stanley Parable, they still ring as true as ever. And Ultra Deluxe's new content proves it has plenty more worth saying, at a scale that goes far beyond a simple remaster. The Stanley Parable is a surreal adventure game at its heart. You play Stanley, wandering the halls of his office as a narrator brilliantly voiced by Kevin Brighting instructs you on where to go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Of course, the now thoroughly interrogated gag here is that you don't have to listen to him at all. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. The office is a labyrinth of paths to choose from or stumble upon, each choice sending you further down its branching tree of hilarious stories and toward one of its countless endings. Every journey is full of jokes that had me genuinely laughing out loud, framed within a constantly winking satire of how games are traditionally supposed to behave. That could be mundane things like getting to ignore the supposedly correct path. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Or more elaborate examples, like a reset not always setting the metaphorical sliders back to zero. When Stanley- wait, what? No, I restarted. I swear I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be- Oh, did something change? The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe may bill itself as a long-awaited console port with some nicely improved lighting and a bit of new content, but that last part is, shall we say, significantly understated. When you first start it up, Ultra Deluxe asks you if you've played the original before, and developer Crows 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 stressed to me that it's important to answer this question honestly. Ultra Deluxe is still the original Stanley Parable, and if you haven't played that, then it's one of the easiest recommendations I will ever make. But if you have, this re-release offers far more than a literal trip into the memory zone. Given how many secret paths and hidden endings the Stanley Parable contains, it's hard to tell exactly how big the new content in Ultra Deluxe really is, but I feel confident saying it's comp to the original with at least four to six hours of new stuff to see. There's essentially an entirely new game to play through here, and the idea that it's being presented as anything less is probably one of its best gags. Some of Ultra Deluxe's content takes place in brand new areas that pretty much feel like a straight up sequel, while other editions play out as remixed or altered versions of Stanley's usual paths through the office. I don't know for sure, but I assume the question about whether you've played before determines how early this door shows up. Oh. New content? What does that mean, new content? While the Stanley Parable pokes fun at games as a whole, it seems only right that Ultra Deluxe shifts its gaze towards the concept of sequels, expansions, and DLC, as well as some pointed self-reflection about both the original game and its wider reception. I don't want to get into the specifics, but the new writing is no less clever, insightful, or funny than the old, and the way it all meshes together is a pretty brilliant take on an extremely difficult task. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny. Framing everything as new content for an existing game, rather than the standalone thing it likely could have been if Crows 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 really wanted to, allows Ultra Deluxe to make many points about the relationship between modern games and their updates more effectively, which was a real treat. At the same time, however, Ultra Deluxe's new stuff didn't always land quite as well for me. It's all extremely entertaining, but one of the drawbacks of housing this pseudo-sequel within the original is the feeling that we've seen many of these magic tricks before. 
before. It's not that they don't hold up or aren't still impressive, and it's not that there aren't plenty of new ones which delighted me all their own, but even if the well hasn't run dry, it's hard to shake the feeling that we are ultimately revisiting it, something Ultra Deluxe even enjoyably teases itself for. Because of that, some of the new and remixed paths alike initially felt like slightly more passive experiences than the base games, but upon reflection, I'm not sure if that's actually true, or if their impact was just blunted slightly by the fact that I better knew what to expect nine years on. The Stanley Parables base game truly holds up almost a decade later, both in its hilarious narrated writing and the clever satire that houses it. Ultra Deluxe may seem like little more than a decent lighting improvement and a simple console port at first glance, but the new content that's been added alongside those things is on the scale of a whole new game. Those new encounters are consistently impressive and always entertaining, even if the feeling that we've seen some of these tricks before means they never quite reach the heights of my first surprising playthrough back in 2013. But if you've never played the Stanley Parable at all, Ultra Deluxe is a definitive version that provides another extremely convincing reason to do so. For more, check out our early access review of Dune Spice Wars, or our VR review of Moss Book 2. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.